Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The second trailer for the upcoming Bad Batch series was recently dropped, and boy, I'm even more excited about the series now. There's some really interesting and awesome stuff that the trailer revealed, so let's break it down and dive into some of my thoughts. Opening up the trailer, we see the Bad Batch on Kamino in the same kind of training facility we saw the clones of Domino Squadron train in during the Clone Wars. We then see that bastard Tarkin appear with some Kaminoans, and Tarkin states that he's putting the Bad Batch through a test to determine if there's still a viable option to use in the the Imperial military. Clone Force 99 makes short work of the droids who look very similar to the dark troopers we saw in season 2 of The Mandalorian and very quickly Tarkin realizes that they disregard orders and act on impulse and think creatively, which goes against what the Empire is all about. We still don't know if the Bad Batch have inhibitor chips or not so I imagine that will come up during the season and this scene could play into that. Hunter then starts talking about how Clone Force 99 is nothing but trouble and I can't tell if he's on Obadiah, Zygeria or what planet that is. From there we see there are still active battle droids, which leads me to believe that not all of the Separatists closed up shop as Sidious ordered, so we'll see the Bad Batch on a mission early in the season to combat some contingent of battle droids that are still operational. Not sure if this planet is Crownest, but definitely looks similar. From there we meet this young clone, shout out to Ward Lafferty for pointing out the clone's name is Omega. When you turn on the closed captioning for the trailer, you can see her name appear. I'm not exactly sure who Omega is, but with a name like that, we have to to assume this is a pretty significant clone. Could she be the last clone of Jango Fett? I've seen some people say this is a clone of Palpatine which makes no sense whatsoever to me, so I'm gonna say this might be the last clone that was made and since Omega's a girl, amongst a myriad of male clones, she'll fit right in with the Bad Batch since they're a group of different clones as well. From there, Tarkin appears again but this time he wants the Bad Batch disposed of. My first thought is this is due to the Bad Batch either refusing to kill a Jedi after the events of Order 66 or during during Order 66, but that makes the most sense as to why Tarkin will want them killed. I'm not sure if my heart is ready to see Order 66 again, but I think it'd be really cool to see Order 66 play out and the Bad Batch refuse to take part for one reason or another. One thing I notice is that Crosshair seems to not be with the rest of the Bad Batch in several scenes, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Does that mean maybe he participated in Order 66 or followed through with an order to kill a Jedi? We'll have to wait and see. That then ties into my homeboy Rex appearing, which hell yeah, I got super excited when I saw Rex and it looks like they might be on the junkyard planet Bracca. Speaking of Order 66, I have to imagine Rex will discuss Order 66 with the Bad Batch, which will be very interesting to see. My homegirl Fennec Shand also appears, but we also see Saw Gerrera make an appearance. We knew Fennec would be appearing in the series, but I'm excited that Saw will also be appearing in the show. I'm assuming that once Tarkin wants the Bad Batch dead, Fennec and other bounty hunters are hired by the Empire to find them. This opens up the door for other bounty hunters such as Boba Fett and Bosk to appear, which would be so cool. We also see Omega rocking a bow that looks very similar to the bows used by the Night Sisters, so that'd be awesome if we see the Bad Batch travel to Dathomir or cross paths with some Night Sisters. As the trailer is concluding, we see these yellow droids, as well as someone using an Electro Whip. My first thought is the person with the Electro Whip is a Zygerian, which would make sense since we know the Empire will be resorting to slavery and Zygerians are known slavers. At any rate, a whole lot to take in from the trailer, but man oh man, am I excited for the Bad Batch. The series premiere will be 70 minutes long, so May 4th can't come soon enough and I think Star Wars fans are in for a wild ass ride. But what do you guys think? Was there anything I missed? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.